crystal blue water, exhilarating rapids, and a town filled with interesting history. Welcome to Bacalar, located in southeastern Mexico near the Belize border on Lake Bacalar. It's known as the Maldives of Mexico, and we will be spending the next 40 hours here showing you the best things to do. So join us on our travel goal of Canada to Central America. Our agenda for the next two days is to explore Los Rapidos on day one, then day two head downtown and then rent a boat with the Sprint Slow family. We're staying at the Garden of Venus camp spot right outside downtown. It's $5 a night per person, so $10 for Ferris and I. They have a kitchen, shower, laundry. You can even get an Airbnb here. Best part, it's right on the water. Los Rapidos is a 15-minute drive from Bacalar. You will pull up to a restaurant where you will pay 150 pesos or $7 USD entrance fee. Here you can rent kayaks, get a drink, or have lunch. We opted to walk further from the restaurant to get a more secluded area. The river is located on the narrow channel that divides the Lagoon of Bacalar with the Lagoon of Shula. The channel is lined on both sides with rock and the bottom is made of limestone making the water an unbelievable shade of blue. So here we are, we made it to Los Rapidos. It is the bluest water I've seen in all of Mexico. It's just another extension of what Bacalar has to offer. It's on the south side of the lagoon and you can just hop in, float down the rapids, a little lazy river, natural lazy river. Hey buddy. <laughs> so what's really cool about this place is that there's a bunch of spots all along this like rapids area and you can kind of just chill, bring your backpack, whatever. But then if you're farther over there, there's actually like a tiki hut that has like drinks and things like that. But we prefer, per, we prefer like the seclusion a little bit to have this really essentially to ourselves right here. Oh, nothing better. I wouldn't mind this one. current it just takes you away. I'm like I'm like Lisa like hold on and then she's gone in a minute. <laughs> I'm looking forward to relaxing for sure like the Yucatan Peninsula is not that big so we don't have to drive that much and we can just relax chill enjoy the views. The water. Maybe a survey so. Maybe too. How is it Lisa? It's absolutely beautiful. This pathway though is super rocky so if you have water shoes then bring them. If you don't, I totally recommend buying them because it's a little painful. Or you can try and swim against the current, which would be really, really hard. Day two is all about getting a boat rental to enjoy the beautiful turquoise waters. And then there's four or five stops that we're gonna stop at and just enjoy the lake and our time here. So there are a few different boat options. You can take a pontoon, a lancha, which is a skinny long boat, or you can take a sailing boat. We chose to do a sailing boat and we went with a private sailing boat because we have six people, so it's enough to fill the boat up. If you do want to go with a larger group, it's about like 300 pesos per person, which is like $15 per person. Not too bad at all. The private group is definitely a little bit more expensive, but not too much but it gives us a boat to ourselves to do what we want, spend the time where we want, and really, really enjoy it. We made it on the boat, front row seats, Gio and I. The girls and the kids are in the back, but um, a little windy today, but the water looks beautiful and the sun is out, so we got a good day. It's our deckhand, Valentina. <laughs> If you're interested in renting a boat, we recommend going downtown Bacalar and talking with the many different boat tour companies. Hi. Video, Bodhi. Say hi. 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 <laughs> Whoa. You did a kingdom boat. <laughs> That's our boat right behind us. You can't beat it. This water is super clear. Perfect day. <sighs> what better? I did crash the drone. I didn't even get the drone up, but Gio has a drone, so I'm gonna be using some of his footage. Thank you, Gio. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. This is insane. I am so glad that we ended up making this drive down here and spending time here because 
this is like the relaxation period that I needed. And I mean, what do you think? I think this is just insane. Like this is so beautiful. Looks like the Maldives and the water is just the perfect turquoise blue. It's just, yeah, such a great place to relax so and hang nice. out. So nice. And like we usually don't do these types of excursions, but seriously, like, I don't know, getting out on a boat, getting out on a boat and having like four hours to just kind of cruise around and do what you want yourself is like totally worth it. Oh, yeah. And they had cervezas on board and some fruits and some fruits and it's just like, I don't know, really, really nice out here. We have a couple more stops left, but I mean, if we just chilled here for the rest of the time, I wouldn't be, be mad. It'd be totally worth it. After a great day in the sun, it's now time to go check out downtown and see what it has to offer. That was it, that was the boat trip. It was amazing, <sighs> totally worth it. That ends the excursion for day two. We're gonna go into town, get some ice cream, and we'll show you that. Bacalar is a cute beach town located right on Lake Bacalar. Its highlights are the main square, the 18th century fort, and its cute shops and cafes. So this square is actually pretty unique compared to the other squares that we have seen. The middle is just a bunch of walking paths and has a bunch of just different nature features it's really, really beautiful, and you can kind of just walk through it. And it has some like playscapes and other things like that. On the outskirts, it's a bunch of shops, different places to eat. Really, really cool. But what really makes this place unique is the fort right here near the water. Fuerte de San Felipe is located right downtown. You can even go in it if you purchase a ticket. Got the ticket? Yes. I'm ready to go. So this is El Fuerte de San Felipe the Fort of San Felipe. It was mainly used to keep out pirates and smugglers as a defense. The main reason they had to protect themselves from smugglers and pirates was because of Campeche wood. The Campeche wood was used to produce this dye that was said to be worth more than gold. In the middle of the fort, there's a whole museum that offers a ton of history on the whole Yucatan Peninsula and what has gone on in the last 500 years. Definitely recommend stopping here and it was 110 pesos if you want to get in per adult. This is only four hours from Cancun, so definitely can be a day trip or a long couple day trip because mm -hmm. there's so many things to do or you could spend a whole week here. Yeah, I mean the water is so blue, it's amazing and compared to Cancun, there's a lot less people so it's a little bit off the beaten path. Cheaper. Cheaper, more relaxed, you can get a boat, a private boat for four hours for $150. I mean it's just... I think this is better than Cancun, like now yeah. that I know Coming from the U.S., everyone wants to go to Cancun, but now that I know I'm, like that this is here, this is where this I is would where tell people would come, to go. So, sure. But hope you had a good time. As always, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. In our next video, we give you a list of the best day trips from Cancun. I just want to thank you guys so much for the love and support that I got from the last video. It truly means a lot to me, and the stories that you guys shared with me is heartwarming and, and helps me get through this this process of healing and, and the grief that I'm going through and I really appreciate you guys sharing those um, it helped me relate a little bit and know that I you know I'm not alone here and other people have gone through similar things so really appreciate that and thanks again